everybody and welcome to Learning is a Journey. I'm Harshika and I'm Smita and we are here with, with 10, 10 new words, words for, for you. you. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Today's words are mastiff, obsess, symptomatic, frustrate, inert, interject, elusive, histrionics, wan, and doleful. The first word is mastiff. Mastiff is a large dog. A sentence for mastiff is, My nervous neighbor bought a pugnacious mastiff to frighten burglars. Part of speech is a noun. Do you guys remember pugnacious? Yeah, ready to fight. Correct. Um, in the picture, there's a large dog, also known as a mastiff. The next word is... Obsess. Obsess means to haunt. Preoccupy. A sentence for obsess is, she's obsessed with painting. Part of speech is a transitive verb. Are you talking about yourself? No. I'm not Any other sentence should be, I'm obsessed with painting. Well, I don't exactly, I'm not obsessed with anything. Well, I really like arts and crafts, but I'm not really obsessed with it. Okay. Do you think I'm obsessed with anything? I know you're obsessed with something. All right. You're obsessed with the stock market. The next word is... Symptomatic. Symptomatic means having to do with signs or symptoms. Indicative. A sentence for symptomatic is... The sordid rioting was symptomatic of the problems facing the large cities. Part of speech is an adjective. Oh, I like that emoji. Um, Sick. It's telling me that fever is symptomatic of an underlying infection. It could be viral infection or a bacterial infection, but it's fever is not the, not the cause. The cause could be an infection. It's just a symptom of the cause. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember sorted? Yeah, dirty. Mm -hmm. um, any questions? Um, what's writing? Riding is a, a violent disturbance in a peaceful crowd or in a peaceful place. In a tranquil place. Okay. Part okay. of speech is an adjective. The next word is... Frustrate. Frustrate means to counteract, foil, or thwart. A sentence for frustrate is... The prisoners kept frustrating each other so much that we had to add soundproof walls. Part of speech, transitive verb. In the picture, there's a person who's so frustrated, he's punching through his computer screen. The next word is... Inert. Inert means without power to move. A sentence for inert is... Seeing the inert player, the manager dashed out onto the field. Part of speech is an adjective. For this, there are three things. Well, there are more than three, but I've, add, I've added three things. The first one is a pencil. It's oh, now I know why you have a pencil and a, um, and a sunglass and a house in there because none of them are capable of moving by themselves. So they are basically inert. Yeah. So all living things are inert. Trees are inert. Not all living things. And oh, I mean, I mean non-living <laughs> things. <laughs> all non-living things are inert. Yeah. And um, trees are inert. Mm -hmm. Humans and animals are not inert. Yeah. Is there an opposite word to say instead of saying not inert? Is there an is, is there a word that describes the ability to move? Ert. No, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> um, if you can, if you can create any funny words the, for the opposite of inert, comment down below, and we'll see all the. I can't wait to see all the things you guys will come up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the next word? The next word is interject. Interject means to insert, interrupt. Interject. Um, here's a sentence for interject. Most viewers hate it when a commercial is interjected into a suspense drama. 
Oh, I definitely hate it. And guess what? I am frustrated when a commercial is interjected into the suspense drama right before the villain is revealed. Yeah, that's probably why that person was punching through his computer. Yeah. Maybe he was watching a movie and then... Hmm. <laughs> the next word is... Elusive. Elusive means hard to grasp. All his life, he found happiness elusive, but wealth easy to come by. Part of speech is an adjective. In the picture, there's a, per there's a person reaching for something that she can't actually hold. Well, I think everything is really, uh, nothing is easy to come by. We have to work for it. Even if it's happiness or wealth, we have to work for it. Nothing comes by easy. The next word is... Histrionic. Histrionics is exaggerated dramatic behavior designed to attract attention. Um, it also means a wide variety or display of emotions. A sentence for histrionics is... Saying that he would not tolerate her histrionics, the director fired her temperamental actress. Part of speech is a noun. I like that emoji. Just like? Well, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in the picture, there's an emoji that keeps changing. So it's showing a wide, like so many emotions. I love the histrionics mm -hmm. of that emoji. <laughs> the next word is wan. Wan means sickly pale. A sentence for wan is after the tension his normal face was wan and tired. Part of speech is an adjective. I have to say you know the picture for um the you know the feverish emoji uh -huh. for symptomatic uh -huh. that looks wan hmm. yeah it's very green true part of, um the next word is doleful doleful means sad melancholy a sentence for doleful is Doleful expressions abounded through, throughout headquarters on the night of the election. Do you guys remember abounded? Yes, full of. Yeah, filled with. Filled with. I remember the sentence too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Part of speech is an adjective. In the picture, there's an, an emoji crying. It cried so much that it made like a whole pool. Yeah, so that's sad. Oh, he's doleful. I wonder what the reason is for his dolefulness. Is that even a <laughs> word? I don't know. Dolefulness. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that's not even a word. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, Learning is a Journey. Thank you. Bye. Until next until tomorrow. Farewell.